Hey everyone, carrying on with the butterfly theme, I thought I would do a page layout. So I've got a mat, which is what I tend to use, just in case I mess it up. So I have various scraps of paper and I am determined to use up some of these bits. So this is from an Edith Holden book. Let's take that piece off. I was writing on that side. Okay, I'm using matte gel. Any glue that you feel comfortable in using. For me, this is what I would normally use. Trust. Put that one up here. So I hope you're all keeping well. Things seem to be getting better and now they're getting slightly worse again. I wasn't going to put this, my collage, on all of it. I'm just going to put okay, let's tear some of that off. Let's make a pattern. It's quite warm today so everything's drying very quickly. Okay, I think actually I'm just going to cover everything in this multimedia because I do want to put a bit of gesso on it. That is, I think, a little bit down here. Um, Okay, let's go for that with a couple of gaps. All right. So it's an incomplete. Oh, come on, let's go for it. Let's, uh... Another bit of Edith Holden. Let's bung this in. Ah, uh, does it fit better? No, let's put it in that way. All right. We have a, a very basic collage. So I'm going to put my top on and then I am quickly just going to dry this. So I will fade this out a moment. Okay, that's reasonably dry. Right, just a touch. Of gesso because my idea is is to go in with I'm going to be lazy and use the same paintbrush is to go in with some some stamps just to create a background but I just want to take this back a bit I need some water oh, I've got a dirty pot of water I'm afraid I've just been 
doing some painting. more like it but I do want to have some of the different colours showing through I, I want to take them back a bit but not that you can't see them if I just wet this first Knock it over. So it's just blurred it, I think. But you can still see that I've got lots of different colours of papers. So I am going to need to dry this again. So I will be right back. Okay. Warm. Very warm. <laughs> These ones I've decided are all going to be, um, I'm trying to put together a new book, failing dismally at the moment, but I'm getting there. Right, I'm thinking I want some back, I've got some background stumps, I've only just had them, um, fragments by Stampers Anonymous. And I've been having a play with them and I really like them. So what I'm going to go for are, I think, I quite like these ones. So now I'm going to put some colour on. I've got stays on teal blue. this the wrong way around when I first tried it. So let's go a bit down there, like that. And then maybe some up there. Yep, I'm making that, except that's not quite on the edge of the page. That's better. I will wash all these off after. I'm trying to be quick today. And that one sort of matches it. I thought I might try this one again the Cornflower Blue by Ranger. It didn't work very well when I tried it before. See how we get on. I suppose actually the ink pad could be drying out. Uh, I think that one sort of goes. No, I still don't like it. Okay. Right, I've got some saddle bone. Oh, it stays on again. I'm just going to stamp with that, I think. Maybe one there. The stamps themselves are lovely. It's just trying to get the, the ink to work on them. <laughs> okay. I think that might be enough colour. It is quite a simple layout these away a moment. Okay. I have got loads and loads of washes here. All lots of different ones. If I bring them all into view. I have a couple actually with butterflies on them. And then the rest are sort of plain. 
So I'm thinking, right, start with the plain ones. So that's about the right kind of length. Now this is something I saw for the first time from a lady called Helen Colebrook, who does a, a journal, a journal with me. And she does planners and all that type of thing. And I loved it. I love the different looks you could get from doing this. If you search on YouTube for Helen Colebrook, her name will come up. Okay. So not that piece. So I'm, I want to keep the torn edge. Um, I'm going to put it in so it's right at the top. So we have that one. I am going to put this one in, but I think, not just yet, I need to, to have a look, have a play. And then I've got some flutter bows. What else are we thinking? Oh, it's like a blue one which would go. Let me see. Let's do this one. More of a contrast. And I think it goes with the... Let's put this one. Down the middle. All the way to the end and I'll take that piece off after and then I'm thinking across the middle hmm okay where am I going there there's no right in there Let me just get rid of this piece because it's annoying me. And then I think this piece will also go across the middle. Yeah, let's put it underneath. Ah, no. What else we got? Oh, another blue one. Um, no, I'm gonna. I want one to go down this way. I don't want to one pick all that. So let's put one. Do you know? I think I'm going to have to try. I wanted to to look. Woven there, that's not coming up. Okay. Let's do a small one, and I'm not sure even sure if I can rip this, but let's give it a go. Okay. Now I'm going to put this one. there. Yep, I am liking that and that ties all that lot together. I don't know how this will look. <laughs> I think that's going to be too much. I do like it, so maybe a little piece Can always take it. Well, maybe I can take it off. And then I've got this stripey one. Oh, actually, put that. Up. Yeah. 
on there. And this is what this is all about, it's uh, having fun. I've got this little piece here. I think I'm going to put that. Over there. Okay, now I have some big butterflies which I thought. So I was looking at the ones, I seem to have gone predominantly for ones with blue on anyway. I've got a couple which haven't, so I need mm -mm. doesn't show up quite as well as that one. Okay. I quite like the idea of having a specimen box, but right on the outside. So I just need to grab a pen and I'll be right back. Okay, trusty pack of pens. I... Um, what size? Right, I'm going to go for number five, oh five. So I want it to go I'm thinking there So I'm going to take it from the one so I know where that is Actually, I'm going to take it down to the five and a half. I hope that's straight. That'll do. Um, <laughs> I can't see where my lines are. Oh, that was silly, wasn't it? I haven't actually put it on. A... Okay, so if I put it on three quarters. I'm down to five and a quarter. I'm trying to get this reasonably square uh oh that didn't work did it my measurements are sharp right what I'm going to do now is just sketch so make it Just make it a little more less prescriptive, I think. That's the word I'm looking for. And then the bottom one. Okay. And then these little chappies can just sit in the middle. 
Now you could, if you wanted to, just <laughs> draw around them, draw flowers on. Actually, that's an idea. Let's just draw some flowers. So it's just some leaves coming off. There's nothing more simple than a bit of doodling. Okay, there we go. That's got a bit more colour in it. Now then, one, two, and this one can sit inside, same as that one. I know what I need to do. So I'm just going to quickly go around the edge. One. Two, three. Oops. So if that one goes in there, that one goes on there, and then we can, yep, that's good. So, in the centre, I hope. And yep, that looks a bit central. And then this little chap. Put my pin in. Do you know I forgot to put it in the other day and I left it for about three hours and it was still it was okay. I was um, quite impressed. Right, I'm just gonna go through around the edges. I think actually I can get away with putting a bit more on the edges. I have glass. I did have. That actually looks like looks like proper words at the bottom. So I've got no scissors. Okay, such wondrous things, and I have to admit, butterflies are. Now, I probably would have torn this out to, to match, but it's actually, uh, I printed these ones off onto sticky paper. I'm just going to go around the edge. Ooh. 
Ooh, I just thought I'd use the normal distress ink around the side. That's why it's coming out slightly fainter. Right, now these are interesting. I need pokey tool. That's about any sharp implement will do. Oh, I've got a bit of... Um, let's go for there. And I'm just going to take my pen and I'm not going to smudge this one, but I am going to outline it. Okay, this is a much better way of doing it. And then if it make a mistake, it actually looks like you're meant to do it. And last bit. There we go. Oh, I've gone too far up this time. So that will fit on my page. And it will go like that. Very simple. And and I'm trying to keep it to, to just using things. My scraps. I, know I have so many scraps. I do need to get rid of them all. Or try and use some of them up. Right, love it. You take care and I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Bye.